guys, um, welcome back to my channel. Um, I am gonna be doing another challenge today. Um, and this one is hosted by Sabrina at Sab's Rehabs. Um, so thank you for hosting. Um, I will have a link to her description or a link to her page in my description. Um, and so please go and check out her page and then also everybody else who's doing this challenge. Um, this is called the flea market flip. And the idea was to find a piece of furniture at a flea market and then completely flip it um, and either make something completely different out of it or there was a few options, but I decided to do reimagine where you take a piece of furniture and you repurpose it into something completely different. So I didn't find this on a flea market, but I got approval. And I only have one flea market where I live and it's only up on the weekends, so it didn't work out. But I found this really old, outdated TV stand from probably, I don't know, 70s, 80s. Um, and I'm going to make this into a liquor cabinet. Um, so I'm excited to kind of see how it turns out. Um, we're going to add some mid-century legs to it. I bought these at Home Depot. I actually used these before for my um, mid-century pet bed that I made. So we're gonna add legs. I'm gonna stain these a dark wood. <clears throat> and I've also bought the, this piece of um, wood at Home Depot. And so we're gonna cut this into smaller pieces and put it on the doors to add some texture. Um, and then obviously paint it and make it look pretty. Um, but thanks again for um, following along and I'm excited to see how this, exactly how this turns out. Um, it'll be fun and make sure that you check out everybody else else's um, videos in this challenge as well. Okay, uh, okay, we are ready to get started with the first step. Um, as always, scuff sanding. So I'm gonna use 120 grit and this should not take very long, but we're gonna scuff sand it and then clean it up. Okay, um, I'm gonna start by staining the legs um, and I'm gonna be using Varathane wood stain in dark walnut. And I went ahead and taped the bottom of it so I didn't get any on there. I'm just gonna take a cloth, a clean cloth, and apply the stain to it like that. I am wearing gloves because it's just messy and I thought that I had some gel stain, which I like because I feel like it's not as messy, but I didn't. So this is what I have, this is what we'll use. And I still really like, it's like same color. So that's turning out nicely. Um, and I am gonna be painting, I don't think I mentioned this, um, the cabinet a yellow color. Um, and yes, it's from Melange Paints, my favorite. So I'm just gonna apply it to all of them so it looks nice and even. And I think that one coat will be fine. I don't want it super dark. Just want it covered evenly and nicely. So I'm gonna apply that to the other three legs and let that dry and then we're just gonna spray paint a poly protective coat over that as well. Okay, I'm gonna clean this up really fast. We're using three parts water to one part vinegar. I'm just gonna give it a good wipe down. Okay, so I'm ready to make some cuts on my wood. This is the piece that I got from Home Depot. Um, I think these are only like $4 for one. Um, but what I did is I measured out, I drew some lines for three and a half inch, four three and a half inch um, cuts, and then two six and a half. Um, and I'm gonna be putting these, gluing these on the shorter drawers. Just using a small Black and De Decker um, handsaw for this. I'm just 
gonna make a few more of those and we'll be ready to glue. Okay, um, as you can see, I cut out the pieces and then I took um, my tape measure and I measured an inch in the sides and one and three fourths in between so they match. And now I'm just gonna wood glue the pieces on and either try and find clamps or something hard to put on so it dries. That is what it looks like. Okay, so confession, I painted this the original color I planned, um, but I really did not like it. Um, it was just a lot thinner and I just didn't think it looked very good at all. So um, you didn't get any footage of me painting because I just waited, sanded, redid it. Um, and you know, that is the thing with these projects. Sometimes you get a great idea and it turns out and sometimes it doesn't. So here's the color I chose. It is um, Melange One Oakamoss Green. I've used this color a lot and I already had it in my garage so I just decided to use that. Um, so there you go. Um, and it's not the color was bad. I just, I don't know. I just didn't like it myself. So, but now we are ready to put on the feet. So to do that, um, I just brought the, this little packet from Amazon with some screws and we're going to screw these in to the bottom and then put the legs on. Um, I do have to put one more coat on this of this color, um, but as you can see, I, I really like it so far um, and I love the dark green. So much better option and it just, I think it's gonna be prettier. Okay, so you're ready to put these little pieces on for the feet. Um, so what I'm gonna do is just gonna drill a pilot hole with my drill and then screw in the screws. So it should be fairly easy. Now uh, that is secure, I'm going to go ahead and do that to the other four legs and then I'm going to screw these in and we'll get a look at it um, after the coat of paint. <laughs> All right, I've got the paint on and the legs and here it is. So. It's a little hard to see with the light, but you can see the legs and the texture turned out super nice. Um, again, this was um, this was really fun and fairly easy. Um, we took an ugly, outdated um, TV stand um, and we transformed it into a liquor cabinet. Um, so yeah, super fun. Um, I am going to show you guys a picture of this staged and um looking better than this I get a good picture on there at the end of this for you but um thank you so much for watching my video and please leave any questions or comments you might have um i was gonna say no real takeaways other than the um the color <laughs> um you know i tried it and didn't like it but i love this color with it so um i'm excited to see what it looks like stage and 
if it'll sell really well, hopefully. Um, thanks again to Sab's Rehabs for hosting and be sure to watch all the videos on here and um, please hit like and subscribe.